Hello, I'm Lou Collins and thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. Today I've got a project for you that's really fun to do, but practical as well. So it's how to display your blending brushes. Now I've got blending brushes for Distress Inks and Distress Oxides. I absolutely love them. I love having everything colour coordinated um, in rainbow colours and organised and on show so I can see what I've got. So this way I found is reasonably inexpensive to do. It looks amazing as well, especially when all the boards are filled up. So I have got around about 54 brushes in total. There are 72 colours in the Distress range at the moment as of uh, June 2022. So I wanted to make sure I've got enough space for all if not most of them. So that's what I've done. That's covered six frames. Rather than doing one large frame, I've done six and I can then also add to the range as I add more brushes in if I want to too. Okay, let's get started with what we need. So the first thing is the frames. Now I only spent $4.99 on each one. These were actually mirrors, but I did uh, of course take out the mirror there. So I've got six of those. Then I've got the printable labels. I've got these in black or white for you to use as well if you want to. You can download and print those off. They've got all of the colours. I need to just add the last colour. Then we've got vinyl. Now this was £1.50 I believe in Poundland and I used one roll for all six frames. I did buy two but didn't need it. Then I've got the clips. Now these are metal clips. They're self-adhesive. They're from B&Q. £2.50 a pack for 10. Obviously I needed uh, six packs, but I actually bought a couple more as well. So because they're metal, they bend around the brushes. Now the brushes, I've got all of my old ones. I've got some new ones in there as well, but I'm first of all going to get these washed up. To be honest, the preparation of this project was probably the longest thing. Uh, washing all the brushes took a while. I separated the clean ones and just went in with soapy water and you can see the amount of ink coming out of them. The water was filthy when I'd finished. Some of them stained, to be honest. Some of them were just not going to really wash up completely and come white again, most of them actually, but at least it would give me a fresh base because I'm definitely going to be using just one color on each brush. I wanted to make sure I didn't contaminate it with any old ink. So I did this to all of those brushes. Um, they dry really quickly on their own, so I didn't worry about drying them too much. So once they were done, we could then get on with starting the actual frames. As you can see, that made my hands really stained, but it will come out in the wash as such eventually. So I've got lots of clean brushes, some brand new ones here, some of course stained from previous ink, but uh, I've cleaned them enough so that the inks won't come out next time I'm blending. That's just kind of stained bristles really, no ink left in there at all now. Um, so now what I'm doing is I'm colour coordinated, colour organising all of the blending brushes by the handles because I want the handles to look just as pretty as everything else and be in a nice rainbow colour. So I'm just sorting through all of these. This part isn't essential, but it did really help me when planning how many frames I needed and uh, where I was going to put everything. Next, I took my printed labels. Uh, I counted them. I then counted my brushes. And this is the time consuming bit because this is where I needed to work out what colours were going to be on which brushes, which ones I was going to put on. So at first I was just going to do um, the colours that I had at home. Then I remembered I have about six or seven ink pads on order, so they would be coming. Then when I looked, actually looked at the Distress range, there's, there's at the moment 72 inks in total, I believe. So um, once I counted my brushes, I thought, Do you know what, I'm not that far off. I've ordered myself another set of brushes that will come. I think I had about six missing, something like that. So I thought, do you know what, I'm going to do every colour, but put aside the colours that I don't have at the moment, so do the ones I do have and the ones that are on order. So Mod Podge was my best friend here. I cut out all the strips. Once I decided and laid out the labels where they were going to be with each brush, trying to keep everything as colour coordinated as possible, I was then brushing Mod Podge onto the handle of the brushes and then picking up the label with the wet brush and brushing some more Mod Podge over the top. There was only one and that was the latest colour, the uh, Uncharted Mariner that I needed to cut into two pieces because the label wouldn't quite fit. So uh, Mr Holtz, if you're watching, please can you start doing some shorter names? It'll make these labels much easier. Uh, but everything did fit on the blending brushes. Now the brushes actually I got from a mix of Craft Stash and Amazon. So you can find links for some of those below. These took about um, five to ten minutes in a warm room to dry. They were tacky and um, probably about half an hour to dry completely. And they do go clear and lovely and glossy, so they're then waterproof as well. So if you're doing your ink blending and things, you're not going to disturb the labels too much by gripping the handle there. 
Now, unfortunately, I didn't press play or record at the last stage, and that was taking the uh, backboard off of the mirrors, taking the actual piece of mirror out, and then lining the black uh, the backboard with the vinyl. So, uh, I mean, fairly simple to do, popping the backboard back into the frame, so no glass, no mirror, just that lovely wood grain vinyl over the top. So here what I'm doing is I've laid out my blending brushes where I want them to be. Now I could fit six along the top, six along the bottom of each of my mirrors. I then started um, applying the clips. So I'd wrap the clip around um, the neck of the brush, whereabouts it would sit once upright. So it'd be quite just under the bristles there and then hold it all straight whilst I position each brush in place. Press down because they're adhesive. So I peeled off the backing first of all press it down into the vinyl and just hold it for a second. And that clip on the top is flexible, so you can lift that up and down to fit the neck of the brush nicely. So once that's secure, I then carried on and I did all the rest of the brushes as well on this board. Then comes the fun bit and that's placing your brushes back in in a lovely rainbow color. What I did do, as I mentioned earlier, is to keep aside the colors that I know are either coming or I haven't got room for because, and I haven't got in my stash already. So um, just uh, make sure that if you are going to be doing all the distress colors that you make sure you've got spaces for those that you've left out. So I'm just going through my leftover labels now, the ones that don't have handles yet, and making sure that there's not going to be any on this board that need to be kept spaces for. So the best bit is putting the brushes all back in, in order, in lovely rainbow colour order so they all look nice and pretty. Uh, the new brushes I did brush over with um, their ink, their coordinating ink afterwards just to make them look even better. Um, but yeah, so that's really it. If you do have a space where you need to um, reserve for another brush, all I've done is I've taken... Um, a little bit of uh, glitter um, gilding flake, flake glue, so sticky glue, added the label onto the actual clip there um, just to kind of reserve it as such until I'm ready to put a blending brush in its place with that label on the handle. And like I say, these clips just lift up, they bend to allow room for the head and then you can squeeze them shut. So there we go. There's the pink one. And this is me just doing the uh, bluey greeny colour one. Um, this one did actually have a few spaces. As you can see, I've popped one in there down at the bottom. I've got a couple more on the top row to do in a moment. So just a tiny little bit of glue. Now, what I did do with the labels before I stuck them onto the handles was trimmed them down. So you've got space to um, just glue, add a little bit of glue to the top or the bottom of each of your labels to attach them to that piece of metal with something that's repositionable, repositionable glue um, and then you can pull it away and trim that off before you glue it to the handle. So there's my six frames all completed. I'm really pleased with how they turned out. I hope you've uh, learned something, been inspired to create your own um, ink blending brush storage. It's a bit of a mouthful, but yeah, they look lovely when they're put up together in that colour order. Um, please do share with me any photos of anything you do, and please come and find me over on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course, I'd love it if you subscribed here on YouTube as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.